Hey, folks, come on back. You might learn something as we take to the clinic with Charles and Brendan. And we check out the women in Winnipeg. That's all right here on The Big Spike. This time on clinic, a little lesson about what they call the pokey, the use of the knuckle on the ball. It's very rarely used and, and only used in extreme circumstances, but it can be an offensive or a defensive weapon, Charles. That's right. I want to talk about three things that happen at the net. As you said, one is the pokey. And basically what you're going to do is to make your fingers into the knuckles, and primarily it's going to be your first two knuckles that are make, going to make contact with the ball. And like you said, it's, it's when you get into trouble if the ball is tight to the net. The other thing that could happen when it's tight to the net is you have a joust, and that's where two players are pushing on it at the same time. And the third thing, if you really need to extend for maximum reach, you're going to go to the cobra. And you form the hand into the cobra's head, and you make contact right with the end of the fingers, and that pushes the ball over the net. Now, those are designed to, to score points at the net, but I've also seen some of the key players use that pokey as a, a defensive tactic when they're forced back or the ball's up above their head and it's, a, it's almost a desperation pump. That's right. What you're going to see is the wrist angle change. So offensively, you're going to have your wrist facing over the net. Defensively, you're going to turn your wrist up because what you want is the ball to go up first. Alternatively, a lot of players prefer to use the heel of their hand because they feel, they feel they have more control and some players go to what they call the double axe handle this one again on the heels of the hand. Crazy terminology, pokey, cobra, axe handle, it all counts and they're all weapons here on the beach. <laughs> 